great day Anna here so on this video I'm going to be doing a lace closure sewing it's just a middle part sleek something a simple style at the end of the video I will be showing you what the front looks like also I'm going to be doing two story times the first story time is going to be about my client who threatened to beat me up my second story time is going to be about one of the mistakes I've made in my journey of being a hairstylist that I can laugh about now um yeah so let's get started so on this particular sunday i usually don't take clients on sundays and i was just laying in bed just it was like nine o'clock in the morning so i get a text message from a lady that wanted to book an appointment so we went back and forth she's telling me what type of style she wants and things are going swell so i'm just like okay here you go i sent her my booking information and the booking information just tells the address, her total, um, just my rules. And I don't have rules like some of these stylists to where you got to come braid it down and all this type of stuff or your hair has to be straightened. My rules is more so like no kids, be, be, be mindful of the time, um, things like that. So it also has my deposit and my deposit is only $25 which is nothing compared to some of these stylists that charge 150 half the service it's not like that so it's just 25 dollars, which it also goes towards your full balance so i felt like that that didn't put no pressure on nobody you should be able to pay the 25 dollars if you come into your appointment so mind you it's like i stated it was sunday morning so i sent her my booking information and me i'm just expecting her to go pay her deposit and then i'll see her on her appointment date so i go in the kitchen and i'm i'm making breakfast i don't have my phone with me i i leave it in the bed so i'm making breakfast and continuing with my day um it could be in cleaning up i was just in my sunday vibe so i go back to the room to go get my phone eventually whenever i went back in there to go get my phone so i see she texts me and says that she doesn't have a bank card to do the deposit so that means she couldn't do if it was like cash app, she couldn't do cash app or Zelle or anything like that. And she was just like, well, can I just pay the full balance when I just come in? Which I, I don't have a problem with when, when my clients communicate with me on certain things. Like if a client communicates that she may be 10 minutes late, but before she's already late, communicate with that. If the client gives if the client gives me notice before her time or if something's going on or she needs this or something occurred or she can't pay her deposit beforehand and communicate that then I have understanding and I'd be like okay that's fine so I didn't get to send her a message back um because at 30 minutes I was in the kitchen so I didn't hear my phone or I really wasn't even caring about my phone at the moment it's Sunday so before I could even text her back she sends me this message talking about you stylist and I'm, I'm gonna say it in this tone because that's how I read it and I know like she probably even typed it even matter it was probably like she was typing super fast all thumbs it it I know it was so she was just like you stylist y'all just be so ungrateful y'all just think y'all better than everybody else when someone's trying to book an, a, a, um, an appointment y'all don't have no understanding for nobody else all y'all do is think about yourselves um you just think because somebody likes your um, likes your works that you have to treat them some type of way all i asked was that could i not pay the deposit and just pay full and you just not going to respond to me you know what you stylists think y'all so much better you better than everybody else so what i i should i should book up i no she says she's going to excuse me she says you know what i'm going to do i'm going to book an appointment under someone else's name and when i come in there i'm gonna beat your ass and i'm like first see i was about to say the b word but i'm not girl it's sunday it's sunday morning and this is your energy that you have like it's sunday morning two i just didn't pick up my like if she i just didn't pick up my phone like i didn't see your message which i would have had understanding like okay you you can't pay the deposit right now but you didn't even give me a chance to even state that you just went off off the top and just went crazy like i know that you are a psycho with with your friends and a psycho with your relationships like she was just bugging and in that moment like first i wasn't going to allow her to to mess with my sunday vibe 
and in that moment like i i had to like really turn on my my chill and my like yo that doesn't have nothing to do with me which i had to learn and like i said before in my other video which i had to learn like a lot of this stuff don't be having nothing to do with me you know i accept what does not and, and that stuff mm -mm, i don't accept that like one and then it could have got me into the feeling of like texting her back which like a percent of the, a percent of me wanted to text her back and be like yo who the hell are you talking to but then i would have kept going but for you to sit there and tell me one threaten me and say that you're going to book an appointment under someone else's name come in to the appointment pay she then said pay the deposit so if you was going to pay that deposit to come beat me up you could have paid the other deposit to just come get your hair done you simpleton but it was just like for you to even state that you were going to come beat me up like you thought that you like she really thought that but it was just like in my mind like again it was a shake in my head moment because i i just got tired in my 10 plus years of doing care you get tired of accepting accepting responsibility for 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 things that you you ain't do i didn't do nothing i was i was cooking pancakes I was cooking pancakes. So I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting your vibe. You go find somebody else to do your hair. You want to be like that? You go find somebody else. It's just like sometimes people be bringing you their energy. They unwanted energy. They don't even want it. So what the hell you make you think I want that shit? Especially not at no 9 o'clock in the morning. On a Sunday. I, I just I was I just didn't understand that. And I felt like, you know, I've had many times and many experiences where it just be like, yo, sometimes it even had my mind ha having me to think like, ah, do I want to continue being a hairstylist? And I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to continue being a hairstylist because I'm not about to l let nobody steal what, you know, my income or make me feel like mm, I, I'd rather go work at a job. No. I'm just going to filter y'all out and, and get rid of the ones that's like, no, no, thank you. No, no, thank you. Like, I, I, I feel like this whole experience has open, allowed me to grow, one, see myself, and also see the respect that I, I deserve. I deserve, and just also respecting others, too. Which gets me into <laughs> my next story time. So my next story time is about me. And I don't mind doing these types of videos of like story times about myself and the mistakes. Because a lot of stylists, man, stylists probably won't even tell the truth for the shit that they probably did. And hey, I, I've done some things to where like, girl, you know you was wrong for that. And so, and, and that's fine because I accept it. Um, I took full responsibility of it and I may have not taken it then, but like now I take it, you know, like all the way. Um, so on this particular day, I had an appointment set up and one of my things that I had to work on while being a hairstylist is sometimes I don't look at my schedule. Like I have a client book, but I either... I didn't write it down in my book or I, you know, like, oh, yes, I see you then. And then thinking like my brain is supposed to be like, oh, I got it in my head. And and then the day come and then someone will be like, hey, I'm 15 minutes. And I'm just like, oh, I had an appointment. I, I'm, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I've done that. But I, I don't do it now. So I, I was I'm major guilty for that. So it was one of those. And she was just like. I'm like 20 minutes away and I'm like, okay, so I go set up. This is when I was working out of my house. So it was like a room. So it's not like I had to travel anywhere. And so I went in there to go set everything up, get the flat irons out, get, get all my products, do the needles, um, sanitize everything, do all that things. So as I'm doing that, I realize I don't have any thread. No thread. And so I'm looking around everywhere. I'm trying to see like, oh my gosh, there's some thread somewhere, some thread somewhere. So I didn't have any thread and I was unable, I was able, but I did not want to cancel the appointment because I won, I needed the money. And that's also something I worked on too, that mm -mm, it's not about, it's not about the money. It's, it's not about, it is about the money, but it's also about the service. Like if I'm not, if I'm unable, like now I don't, I don't feel like I have to take clients before I felt like I have to, I needed to, I must take a client. I must take clients all day i must take clients on sundays i must take clients like my whole day feel just doing hair don't turn down no client and so like 
that's how I used to be. And so it, it was the chase for the money when I didn't even have, like, no, you mm -mm. the money chased you. You don't chase the money. And so I didn't want to cancel the appointment. And so I had, it was, what day was it? It was early in the morning. So the beauty supply stores weren't open at the time. And so I couldn't get any threat. So the only thing that was open is what? Walgreens. So I go down to Walgreens to see if I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I would think Walgreens sell thread, but they had, they had thread, but it was thread for like clothes, sewing machine thread. They had like a sewing kit. So what did I do? I brought the sewing kit. I took, are you serious? Turn that music down. Okay. So I brought the sewing kit. I brought the thread. Yep, I sure did. And it was like, you know, the variety pack and has like all the colors, the little spools of thread. So I took the black out, which they only give you like two black, navy, blue, and gray. And then I took the black out and I took the gray. And you know how thin that thread is. That thin, That thread is so thin. So what I did was, as I'm doing her hair, I had to, <laughs> this is just like, girl, why would you do this? So the thread was so thin and it's to make it look or resemble or be strong enough for it. So when I had to like triple, triple the thread, like triple the thread. So each needle had like, the thread was like tripled and then tied. So I tripled the thread and I'm just sewing it and you, it just looks like, you know, girl, I hope you don't, are you not a fighter or are you about to get into some drama because it, it's not going to go well with this sewing because you got, you got a whole t-shirt. Just, you just, you're not held down. It's not held down. And, and I'm just putting it in there. And in the moment, you know, when you're doing something wrong like that, it's telling you right then and there, like people be like, I don't know. No, it tell, it was telling me like, girl, you need to get your stuff together. Like, this is the voice that's in my head. You need to get yourself together. Cause look what you're doing. Like, is this, is this acceptable? Like it, it, I was just telling myself these things and it was just so honest. It's just, you know, and I'm just, I know, I know. I, I just need the money. I know, I know. And it was, it just wasn't right. It wasn't right. And I accepted. And I feel as though, you know, that had a reflect on, on my business because I felt like I could get more clients if I, you know, wrote this stuff down, had my inventory, which these are things that you, you have to learn in the process. Like, you, you learn it as you're going, you know, like, I'm, I'm not going to be hard on myself and like, yeah, yeah, like, point the finger and shake my hand. You know, I still got it done. Like, did I know how long it was going to last? No, I still got it done. And it, it wasn't acceptable for me to do that. I did it, you know, and I, I'm honest. I'm just honest and open about things. Like, you know, I have many stories like that and I accept them. I accept them fully, you know, just accept your stuff. When you accept your stuff, it just becomes so much easier. And then I do. And I'm just so grown. I'm I'm just so like on a different level of, about myself and about life and just about people and my interactions with everything. Shoot, I'm, um, I'm just on a different path. And I feel like this journey of me being a hairstylist has truly helped me become that and, and become fully, fully honest with myself and honest just with anybody. Like, you just got to be, you got to be honest. If I can't do it, I can't do it right now. It's okay. Like, reschedule, Yes. But it's just like now I have my inventory. I have a couple, uh, couple bulk threads. I have, you know, just things I do different. 